Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem I got from one of my subscribers and here is a problem. If a DNA molecule has equal numbers of all four bases, how often, in other words one in every how many base pairs, would you expect the following restriction enzymes to cut the DNA on the average? Variant A, M ball recognition sequence as follows. So. Uh, we have here uh, one, two, three, four bases. So let me show these four bases as four boxes on the DNA strand. Uh, of course, our DNA is going to be double stranded. So on the corresponding strand of the DNA, we would have thymine, uh, sorry, guanine, adenine, thymine, and cytosine here and uh, actually uh, because this sequence is uh, what we call palindromic uh, in other words it going to read the same in one direction and uh, in other direction would read the same so let me write down the sequence so it would be more clear for you so we would have five prom and here guanine adenine thymine cytosine and three prom and take a look this is the same sequence as on the top uh, strand of the dna five prom and g a t c five prom and g a t c and three prom and so basically we will read it is the same in both directions, in this direction and in this direction. And um, what else? Uh, this is very important. If a sequence is not palindromic, uh, this would affect our calculations. But when we have palindromic sequence, uh, calculations would be as follows. So what is the probability that uh, here we would have guanine because all our four bases which is guanine thymine adenine and cytosine according to our problem is uh, present are present in equal numbers the probability that the first base here would be guanine would be one quarter so we have to choose from this um, for bases, of course, we would have not for bases, we would have infinite number of each base. If we'll take one base, it doesn't mean that we have three left. We still would have millions of guanines, millions of thymines, millions of adenines, and millions of cytosines in our uh, long, long strand of the DNA. And what is the probability that second base would be adenine? just like uh, in this sequence and probability again would be one quarter so now I think you follow my logic uh, probability that next uh, base would be thymine uh, would be one quarter and probability that uh, the last um, base would be cytosine would be one quarter and because this is all independent probabilities now we have to use a product rule and we have to multiply all these probabilities so what we are going to have here uh, basically one quarter multiplied by one quarter is going to be one sixteenth multiplied by one quarter is going to be one over sixty four multiplied by one quarter is going to be 1 over uh, 256 and this is going to be our answer for the first question so this um, sequence uh, this enzyme that recognizes the sequence would cut double stranded DNA in about uh, every um, 256 
bases or if you'll take random sequence of four bases the probability that it's going to be this sequence would be one out of 256 so uh, as you see the logic with the second uh, second recognition site would be the same basically everything we have to do just to count how many uh, bases we have one two three four five six so our answer would be in this case uh, one quarter uh, in the power of six in other words one quarter multiplied by itself six times so uh, we multiply here four times and we got 256 so if we multiply five uh, times we are going to get uh, 1024 and if we multiply by one quarter we are going to get uh, 1 over 4096 so this is an answer for the first question and this is an answer for the second question but I have one more hint for you what if our uh, recognition site for enzyme cutting uh, enzymes that cut double-stranded uh, DNA wouldn't be palindromic sequence but for example would be uh, G G G and G so 5 prom and here and 3 prom and here and corresponding strand of the DNA would have 5 prom and here and C C C C and 3 prom and here and in this case because our sequence is not palindromic then uh, our calculations would be as follows so on one strand of the DNA uh, probability for uh, enzyme this enzyme uh, for example to find the sequence would be 1 out of 256 but because the sequence is not palindromic probability that uh, the same enzyme uh, would find uh, the same sequence on the other strand of the DNA also would be 1 out of 256 so in this case what we are going to have 1 over 256 plus 1 over 256 and the answer would be 1 over 128 and this is going to be an answer when sequence is not palindromic but if sequence is palindromic now you know how to do calculations and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day and see you in the next video goodbye